are in Assam province of India, bordering upon Bengal and joining the northwest frontier of Burma. The lordly elephants who, out of the kindness of their great heart, consent to perform the tasks for which the man-thing is too puny, hauling logs by heavy chains or pushing and rolling them with tusk or trunk. You might think these were menial duties for the jungle prince, but it just goes to show what we're all beginning to find out, that no work is degrading if it is honest and necessary. No dignity is lost in the doing of it, provided the spirit within has dignity. The elephant responds to the guiding feet of the mahout who rides behind his head. The man who calls himself the owner and master of the elephant is in reality his servant. For when my lord has finished his work, the mahout still has work to do. He must settle his charge in the elephant lines and feed him with succulent vegetation, with sugar cane for coffee and liqueur. He must see to it that the ears and eyes of his elephant have contracted no soreness during the day. He must tend his toenails and commend him to the keeping of his gods while he sleeps. The elephant is willing to use his great strength to assist our war effort, but he must be treated with the respect that is his due, otherwise he will not work. The baby elephant comes to work with his mother, although he was born only 24 hours ago. The odd thing about a baby elephant is that he looks as wise and as wrinkled as a prophet a hundred years old. 